Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 MAC lipsticks. And I feel like this has been requested before and I'm finally getting to it. And what's even more exciting is that I'm going to be doing this as a collab with Ashley from Texas Mommy of Boys. Um, I will link her channel, of course, down below, as well as her top 10 MAC lipsticks. I can't wait to see what her top 10 are. I watch her regularly. She has a great spirit about her. Like, she's just so sweet inside and out. You can just feel her energy through watching YouTube, watching her channel. I also talk to her. She's a good friend to me, almost on a daily basis. And I just love her. I think you guys will really enjoy her channel as well. She has a very similar makeup taste to me, I feel like. And that's why I really like watching her videos to get different reviews from her. She does Friday favorites. Definitely go check her out. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. I'm going to start off with the mega amount of neutrals <laughs> that I'm holding here. I have two, four, six, seven neutrals and three like more pops of color that I like for MAC. It was very, very hard for me to pick 10 because there's probably about three or four more new, kind of neutral colors that I love wearing. I, I say nude, but they're not really nude. They're just neutrals, like wearable everyday shades. I am gonna do lip swatches for you guys to accompany the swatches as well. So the one I have on my lips right now is Velvet Teddy. Where are you, Velvet Teddy? There you are. So the one I have on my lips right now is Velvet Teddy. This is a newer favorite for me. I just recently got this. It is a matte finish. It is more of like a brownie nude color. So this matte though is super, super creamy. So pretty. And prior to Velvet Teddy, Kinda Sexy, which is also a matte finish, was my other go-to nude. This has more of a peachy tone to it. You can probably tell that I've used it quite a bit. It was my go-to this past like fall, winter. And as you can see, it definitely has more of a corally undertone. Super, super beautiful and flattering. I feel like a lot of people can wear this shade. Next is an amplified formula, and this is Blankety. Um, this is another newer one for me. It's such a beautiful, beautiful formula. Um, Definitely more on the very nude side, but it has a nice sheen to it. It wears really well, and it has enough color to it where it's not going to wash you out. Um, but if you're looking for like a truer nude, I would suggest that. Next three are cream sheens. This is m probably one of my favorite formulas of all time. I just like how they feel on my lips. They're easily applied. Um, the first one I want to show you is Cream Cup. A lot of people talk about this, and you can probably tell again from the tube that I use it quite a bit. It's more of a pink, pinky nude. Great pigment, though. And another one that's more of a truer nude, but it's not going to wash you out. Other cream sheen I love is Shy Girl. This one is like a cream sheen version of Kinda Sexy, in my opinion. A little bit lighter. It has that more peachy nude tone, and this is my most, probably my most used other than one other that I'm going to show you out of all my MAC lipsticks. It's one of the very first ones I ever picked up. So, so beautiful. And last cream machine formula is Innocence Beware. I do believe that this was a limited edition shade. I'm really sorry. Hopefully they bring it back in the future. Um, mine's a little bit messed up because it kind of melted on me. But this is more of that like bombshell nude in my opinion. It's right here. They're all seeming to look the same almost. But this one, um, it has more of like a pinky peach. Like it's kind of both. Not really pink, not really peach. It's a pinky peach nude. The other lipstick that I wear so much, this is actually my third tube of it. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you've heard me talk about this a lot. And it is the Sheen Supreme Lipstick in Bare Again. Oh my gosh, this is, look, I'm almost done with it again. It's crazy how much I use this. I love how glossy this formula is. I feel like this is that perfect nude that, I don't know, it's just like my lips but better kind of nude. It just looks so good with everything. And I always have this in my purse. I always have one of these in my purse. I obviously need another one. This is almost out again. These are very shiny, but they're not sticky. They're like glossy moisture. The last three are all more 
vampy bright shades. The first one is Candy Yum Yum. And this is not for everybody. It's really not. It's not like a very everyday wearable. It's very bright and fun and pink and I just love it. It's very Barbie. And that's probably why I love it so much. I keep swatching like in my face. <laughs> so there's Candy Yum Yum. I think it's pretty flattering though for it being a bright. And that's a matte formula. Another matte formula that I really, really love is Diva. And I just got this this past winter, I believe. Um, so it is newer to my collection, but it's like a purpley, vampy red. Really, really pretty. However, these two mattes definitely dry out my lips, not gonna lie. And last but not least is Rebel, which is a satin. This one is talked to death on YouTube, but I really love this for fall, winter, and I like that I can just kind of dab it on and get a really pretty stain, or I can really pack it on and get a much more of a vampy look. It's just so, so beautiful. It has like more of like that raspberry undertone very, very pretty and lasts amazing. Like it stains your lips so well. Here's a last look at the top 10. This is Bear Again, Velvet Teddy, Kinda Sexy, Blankety, Cream Cup, Shy Girl, Innocence Beware, Candy Yum Yum, Diva, and Rebel. Okay, so that is it for my top 10 MAC lipsticks. Remember to check out Ashley, Texas Mommy of Boys video as well, link down below. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. I would love if you would please subscribe and stick around. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.